Snapdragon Stadium hosting its first ever event tomorrow. This morning we continue our week long series on the new facility with a glimpse under the grandstands. Yeah, thousands of people will be sitting right there and CBS 8's John Howard joining SDSU Athletic Director J.D. Wicker for a look at how the team will take the field every home game. Okay, JD, we're deep in the confines of Snapdragon Stadium. The field is behind the cameraman, which we'll show you in a second. But tell us about this area and how it will uh, carry out during a given game day. Yeah, so welcome to the field club. This is where the team will run out onto the field. So uh -huh. if you're a, uh, a ticket holder in the field club, you get to hang out in the club. Okay. Uh, enjoy, you know, good food, good beverage. And then right before kickoff, the team is going to come out of the roll-up door right here. They'll come out of what's called the hype tunnel. The hype we'll tunnel. We'll have, you know, neon lights, music, all the things for them. Uh -huh. Roll-up door comes out, and then they'll come out and congregate in this area and get fired up. Everybody will be cheering for them, and then oh, they'll man. take off onto the field. Um, to you know for kickoff and then we'll do the same thing at halftime okay very cool now this room over here to the right what's uh, obviously a lot of exposure what's this for the post game press conference will happen here so uh, soundproof glass so oh, oh. you know you can't yell questions but <laughs> you'll be able to watch the uh, the post game press conference and we'll pipe the sound out into the field club so again just another opportunity for fans to engage yeah. in in the game and in the experience. So if I've got a real hardball question for Brady, <laughs> the fans will get to see it and hear it. They'll exactly. That's uh, that's the plan. That's going to be motivation. That is motivation. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's go ahead and meander outside. Whose idea was this to have all this nice close access to the team as they come out? Well, again, it, you know, with all new stadiums today, you're really looking to build the fan experience, uh -huh. and so the opportunity for the team one to get the fans to see the fans right there and so energetic but then yeah. also for the fans to feel like they're really part of it as well and you've seen a couple other uh stadiums do this now i've noticed a sign here absolutely no <laughs> photography or it will be removed from the project do you have enough authority to keep us out here with the gopro I, I, I think we'll be okay <laughs> so i think we'll be okay uh, as we look at the building our students are going to be in this north end okay and we we've got a, a specially designed section for them it's called safe standing so there's a rail that they can actually lean against there's a seat there uh -huh. uh, but that's also important as you think about supporter sections for soccer that's what you see in mls that's okay. what you see overseas so again We've done something we've said all along. We want to build a stadium for the community of San Diego. So we've got something that's great for our students, but then it's great for soccer as well, you know, to help encourage and bring those types of games into the building. Do you have any idea, like these seats that are right behind us here, how much closer are they to the field than, say, compared to Qualcomm Stadium? Probably 80% of the stadium is within what was the the plaza seating so that lowest level of seating so everyone is you know a lot closer because i mean let's be honest it was a baseball stadium yeah uh, first and then it's also for those folks that went up to carson you're a little bit closer than you were in carson as well so let's close? touch on the piers again is that what it's called the saquon Piers? yeah so the saquon piers this yeah. was this will be really the signature element of the building uh, -huh. uh we'll have palm trees behind it uh, again, it was one of those things as we talked about the community of San Diego, we wanted to hit, you know, a coastal theme. Okay. Uh, the north end of the stadium, the landscaping is a little more arid, so think mm -hmm. East County where I live. Okay. Uh, over on the east side, there's a little more vegetation, think North Park and areas like that. But the piers, when we challenged the architect, we want you to build something that's 60% stadium and 40% San Diego. They looked at the coastline and said, you have piers going into mm -hmm. the water. We're going to design a pier that goes into the stadium towards the field, and it's it will be the signature element of our building and something no one else has. Now, I don't want to start generating ideas, but I could see maybe Tony Hawk dropping in off of that thing <laughs> onto a ramp. How, how about that? Is that a good future I mean, skateboarding event? You know, maybe we can have the X Games and they can launch <laughs> stuff off of the pier, sure. There we go. J.D., we appreciate your time as always. Thank you very much. I appreciate y'all's support and go Aztecs. No doubt about it.